Hi, and welcome to The Money Minute. I'm Devin Shoot. So after five years of us uncovering Steinoff ex-CEO's Marcus Eustace fraud, it looks like justice is finally being served. In the first move against the executive, the South African Reserve Bank have swooped in and seized more than 1.4 billion rand worth of assets. These assets include his Hermanus home, the Lanzarak wine farm in Stellenbosch, as well as various vehicles and jewelry. Now for investors in Steinoff, it's pleasing to finally see action being taken against the perpetrators of South Africa's biggest corporate fraud. In other news, Standard Bank CEO Sim Shabalala has commented that South African assets are pricing in way too much bad news. He opined that the bad news that we've had to face, and this is things like the grey listing, global risk aversion, and local corruption, have pushed our equity valuations to the cheapest they have been since the global financial crisis in 2008. He said our bonds are also offering some of the best value available globally. Now this is not actually unique to South Africa as most emerging markets are struggling with poor investor sentiment. So to fully unlock this value, South Africa needs to do a combination of structural reforms as well as global investor appetite increasing, both of which we have discussed many times in the Money Minute. Now if we were able to achieve this, returns from our domestic financial markets could be significant for patient investors. And lastly, TRG attended the Citywide Discretionary Fund Manager Awards in Cape Town on Thursday night, and these awards recognize the best risk-adjusted performing funds returns offered to financial advisors and wealth managers in various risk categories. We are excited to announce that TRG was awarded with two of the top awards in the most prestigious categories, the multi-asset flexible category and the multi-asset high equity category, which is where balance funds sit. Many of you have trusted us with your investments and we are grateful to share these awards with you. Thanks as always for watching and please remember to like and share so you don't miss any of our future videos. Have a good week.